Good morning, friends and family. I'm going to share another testimony, maybe two. This one being entitled Inner Healing and Deliverance Can Calm the Anger. So uh, from, from Scott's website, uh, this testimony comes and Scott wrote it. I'm talking about Dr. Scott Bitkin, pastor and um, exorcist. Amen. So anyone is, uh, can go to his website. It's innerhealinganddeliverance.org. Go there and uh, you can read the testimonies. He has training videos on there. And just, um, I think every Christian needs to be trained in inner healing and deliverance because of the fact that Jesus told us to go and set the captives free. And the church, I have, uh, I'm 75 years old almost. In January, I'll be 75 years old, and I have yet to see any Christians going out and setting the captives free at any church that I've been to. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's not to say that are, there are not churches out there and individuals out there doing that. I'm just saying that we are all called to do that, each and every one of us. Okay, so let me share this testimony. A tall and beautiful 30-year-old Sadie was referred to, to me. She flew into rages over every small little thing. This is what her fiancé, Sean, had told me. Things, and, and they, didn't, they didn't ever hug and kiss, he said, in over two months. Sadie told me that she suffered from depression, insecurity, and explosive anger. <clears throat> and then Sadie's fourth grade PE class uh, it started with a week of square dancing. The boys would ask the girls for a dance. And no one ever picked the very tall, very tall Sadie. And when the teacher forced a boy to ask her, he got upset and showed great disgust, having to even touch her during the dance. Sadie's father was an alcoholic and was always drunk by dinner time. Every night, as soon as he was finished with his plate, he'd look up at 11-year-old Sadie and scream at her, Get off your fat, you know what, and clean these dishes. And after the dishes, Sadie would just kind of sneak off to her bedroom and shortly after her father would burst into her room screaming and yelling telling her she was worthless violently shake her and hold on a second and repeatedly throw her down on her bed sadie cried herself to sleep every night and this went on for five years till the day that her dad died. As I began to minister, a 10-year-old multiple personality popped up. The part was created when the, the boy wouldn't pick her during the square dances. The 10-year-old had insecurity and it, it fearfully and tearfully said, I feel ugly and not good enough. I asked the 10-year-old if it felt any other emotions, and she said, yes, I hold anger. I took the pain every time Dad said she was worthless and threw her down on the bed. I immediately asked the Lord to come to this 10-year-old girl he gave 10-year-old Sadie a vision of the two of them standing in the gym in fourth grade PE. Jesus walked up to the fourth grader, took her by the hand, 
and said, You are fearfully and wonderfully made. May I have this dance? Instantly, all the insecurity and all the anger left. And then 10-year-old little girl, and then this 10-year-old little girl danced away with Jesus. So the demon of bitterness reared its ugly head and said smugly, I put depression and suicide on that wound. I was going to kill her. The wound was healed and the demons of bitterness and anger and insecurity were cast out into the pit and sent to the pit. As soon as she opened her eyes, Sadie walked over to Sean and hugged and kissed him for almost a minute straight. Inner healing and deliverance can calm the anger. You know, we go through these different emotions sometimes and they're really, really overboard. They're really extremely high and sometimes we don't even know why. But there's there's got to be a reason. It's either, there, it could be something physical, of, of course it could be. But it also as well could be something spiritual. And we need to look into that rather than live with this stuff. Look at how miserable Sadie must have been. All those years from the time of the way that her dad treated her and the way that the boy rejected her, those wounds were never healed. They stayed within her. And it came out, what, in the form of anger, in the form of bitterness. And what, the enemy had plans to... to uh, of suicide for her and the Lord delivered her now see let me tell you the devil came to steal kill and destroy that's what our Bible tells us that those are the only three plans he has for us so when the enemy comes in whether it's a wound or whether it's generational there's plots and plans and intention in all of that to bring spirits of of infirmity death spirits of suicide and anything that will kill you harm you destroy your life and kill you that is the enemy's plan and um it would be up to us to seek out the reason why we're feeling this way like like sadie was with all of this anger with not even having so much anger and bitterness inside, she could not even hug and kiss her husband. She couldn't even be touched. So when we have the, the things that are that extreme, there is some stuff going on. We can't just say that's just me or I need to get beyond it. I, I, I've got to repent and get, well, sure, we've got to repent. But, you know, sometimes it takes more than that. Sometimes it does take an inner healing, a healing of that inner person who, at whatever age that you were totally traumatized, abused, or whatever it was. So sometimes there is a spiritual problem, as well as I said, it could be a physical problem. God bless you. I have one more uh, testimony I'm going to do today, and then I'll probably finish them up on Monday. God bless you guys. We got you covered in prayer. Each and every one of you that come to my side, I'll say it over and over again. We pray for you. We don't know your needs, but we pray for you. And if you have needs, or if you have an, a need for someone to come into agreement with you in prayer, or pray for you, Whatever the situation might be, or maybe sometimes you just need to talk to somebody, you can always reach me at gmanazak8 at gmail.com. I usually try to put that in my notes under my videos. So God bless you each and every one. Have an absolutely wonderful weekend.